Hello, my name is Paul McKay of One Voice Music Academy, Tune Your Mind. And I have a question for you. Would you like to increase your range? Yes, I hope the answer was. If it was no, then that's cool. There's nothing wrong with a bass or a baritone range. But there's a couple of techniques that I have that I know for a fact will help you. First of all, I'd like to caution you. If um, you're increasing your range is your goal and you're pushing it in a heavy chest voice and you're straining and you're pushing for that next note in your chest voice, please stop. As, as soon as you can. That's not a good thing to do. You'll damage your voice, all right? The way to actually increase your range is to access the range that you already have in your mixed voice and in your head voice. Now, the problem that a lot of singers have with the mixed voice and the head voice is that it's a little bit too light. At best, it could sound operatic, and at worst, it could sound like a falsetto. And this may not be the sound you're going for if you're singing pop or gospel or R&B. There is, however, a way to, by changing the resonance, get that mixed voice and head voice to sound a little bit more chesty so that you can get the desired sound of a pop singer or a gospel singer. And when I say switching the resonance, now, there's a couple of videos that I posted previously that talks about resonance and I suggest you have a look at those. Now, the way I teach people and the way I show people is first to access nasal resonance while you're in this light mixed range or head range, all right? And we'll start with a C5, all right? And let's say we used an A vowel, all right? And we'll use forward resonance first. All right, and we'll sing it in a light mixed range. So, see that? Now, if I switch it to a nasal resonance, I can get it to sound a bit more chesty already, although it will also sound nasally at the same time, but we'll refine the sound later on. So here we go. All right, you understand that? So it gets to sound a bit more like a bell. Okay. So we'll move on to a D5, all right, and we'll do that again. So forward resonance first, all right, and then we'll move the resonance to our nose. See that? And there you go, it sounds a bit more chesty. Now what we'll do is refine the sound. We'll refine it so it doesn't sound so nasally, and we'll bring the sound a little bit more forward and allow it to resonate a bit more in the mask. All right, so here we go. So it's gonna be, so forward resonance first. Right, and then uh, nasal resonance. And then we'll refine it. See how that works? Why don't you go ahead and try that? Like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. You can also log on to onevoicemusic.ca and you can subscribe there and you'll be the first to know of any product offerings that I have and any special things that I'm doing over the next little while. All right, so until next time, tune your mind.